Hey guys, James with TFB TV SHOT Show 2022 at the Desert Tech booth with Jeff. You guys have seen him on the program before. Jeff, you guys are known for your centerfire rifles, bullpups, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. We just looked at the Quattro 15, a quad stack AR-15 lower receiver. But, I mean, interestingly, it's like you're kind of going off on a, a, a bit of a, an interesting tangent, an exciting right. tangent yeah, you with rimfire, with rimfire. That's yeah. correct. Yeah, so um, we've always made bullpups and we've always tried to innovate in different ways. Uh, making new firearms, and this year we've kind of focused uh, the innovation a little bit towards established firearms. So the Quattro was us taking a whack at improving an AR-15, and this is our uh, 1022. Uh, the Ruger 1022 is super popular. There's millions of them everywhere you look. Everybody's told me today I've got two of those leaning oh, in the closet is, of my. Yeah. Uh, bedroom. So we decided to make a stock for the Ruger 1022 to improve what needs to be improved and uh, make it a little bit more accessible for others. Um, this is a polymer clamshell type uh, stock for the 1022. You can just drop it in. Pretty much any 1022 will fit into it. Uh, the, the hardest part is literally putting in all these screws. That's mm -hmm. about it. Um, it Easy install, no gunsmithing. Very in easy install, no gunsmithing required. All you need is a couple of Allen wrenches, mm -hmm. and off you go. Um, I think one of the best things about this is it in it improves the balance. I mean, you can see the gun, even with all this crud on it, it, it balances. Yeah, I mean, it balances here. like a bullpup. Exactly. And I notice, with, particularly with kids, you always see little kids, and they shoot whatever gun it is. They always have to mm -hmm. lean way back to try and bounce the gun. I mean, my 9-year-old kid can hold this and hold it upright. Yeah, I mean, you could probably put a couple of level four plates on him, too, and then you probably, you'd yeah. probably could, help him out, yeah. yeah. decent length of he pull needs on there, yeah, sure. It's a, it's a 22, he only needs <laughs> level one, right? Anyhow, so we've uh, added a bunch of uh, improvements to the stock so that you can accessorize it, because that's all the rave now, to improve on the gun. So it's got M-Lock on 3, 6, 9 o'clock, pick rail across the top for mounting sights. All of the Ruger controls are still there, so you've got safety back here, bolt release, uh, or excuse me, bolt lock and mag release, so on. And it's got storage for two extra 10 round mags here in the back, so you've always got stuff with you. Um, yeah, how are we doing the trigger here? Uh, so there is a linkage and kind of a bell crank system. It's actually designed to reduce the pull weight by using the, the cam, or not cam, the cantilever uh, linkage there to kind of reduce the trigger pull weight, help out a little bit with accuracy, hopefully. Uh, it's also got a free float uh, space in here, so your barrel's not going to get smashed in between the uh, clamshell here and harm your accuracy. And it's also got a nice open front end, so you can run a can on it. This is a little YHM Phantom 22. So, I mean, you can run all kinds of fun little things on this and make your 1022 even even better than it was. Jeff, you and I both know that bullpup triggers are typically bullshit, but you and I both but know. we both shot the MDR too. So. Exactly. That's where I was going, where you guys have genuinely one of the best bullpup triggers on the market. Uh, I hope that's the same for this. Uh, yeah, so the, one of the reasons we tried to improve on it was to kind of soften up the trigger. I mean, you can feel, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you tell me, I mean, it's, 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 not, uh, it's not your typical trigger pull, but it's also not as bad as it could be. I mean, that was pretty much your softball because I knew you had an answer for that. You guys do place a lot of emphasis on trigger pull because that's an, a shortcoming, to be frank, it is. of the bullpup. That's, that's one of the things, I mean, one of the things we try to do for quite a few years now is change that idea that bullpups are crap. Now, when most people think. Sure, I mean, which, I mean, there are a lot of examples out there that are. Now, what are we talking about? You said two ninety nine. Correct. Before we got on camera for the price, what about release date? Uh, this we hopefully this will probably be out before the Quattro fifteen. Uh, we're hoping to get this out here later this year. We actually put a um, there's a link on our website, so people that are interested in this can go put their email in and get basically first place in line. We're going to have a list of people, so those will be the first customers we contact. We're mainly doing that, trying to get an idea on how many people are, are actually interested sure. so that we can... And I'll be curious about that. I mean, two ninety nine, a little pricey, but then it is you guys. It's Desert Tech, and you make a quality product. And on top of that, 
what are you going to pay for the trigger upgrade? So like if you're actually That's getting a better trigger, it's almost like you're getting a trigger upgrade and, and a bullpup. Bull right, 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 all in one. Very so good. I'm really curious to see how this shakes out, but thanks for talking with me about it. Guys, thanks for watching our SHOT Show 2022 coverage. Stay tuned.